Hello YouTube, I'm Music Kev, and this is Pokemon Sun Blind Nuzlocke Challenge. And I'm about to fight Nebby, also known as Solgaleo. Alright, this is the first wild Pokemon I've seen in this area, so that makes him a legal catch. If I can manage it. Whoa. Okay. Steel Psychic type. Let's start out easy. I could just throw a Master Ball at him, but you don't want to see that. That's boring. You want to see him attack me. Good thing, didn't do much. Okay. Let's tag him with a flash cannon. Okay, he knows crunch. Good to know. I can hit him with another one of those. Cosmic power is going to raise his defense. And his special defense. That's him with Discharge. I'm hoping he wears through all of his... His, um... All of his, uh, PP for... Uh-oh. All of his PP for, um... Crunch, so that... Whenever I have to send out the bulkiest Pokemon in the world... It's not gonna be a bad thing. I think Sun Steel Strike is a steel move. And I got him paralyzed, too. Awesome. It's time to start throwing Pokeballs. Um, let's go with the Luxury Ball to start out. Just to get his attention. Let him know that we're trying him. One. Two. Okay. Cosmic Poke power another boost good that makes it okay for me to tag him with one more attack here gonna hit him with flash cannon don't crit him that's not what we're meant here that's not where we're here okay crunch okay polaroid thanks for the help you got us a good start uh next coming in is almond Can't use Tattle in this fight. Stamina is going to be really helpful here. Okay. Let's start taking this thing seriously. Here comes an Ultra Ball. I'm tempted to throw a Dusk Ball at him just because of one, the irony, and two, it is technically night. Ah, two shakes again. I appreciate you not attacking me. I would appreciate more um, of that paralysis doing something, but... What are you going to do? Three? Click? Click! All right! Okay, that went a lot faster than I anticipated. Legendary, legendary, register legendary. Said to live in another world, the intense light it radiates from the surface of its body can make the darkest of nights light up like midday. We're going to give him a nickname. I knew I said I wasn't going to name him Nebby because that's too easy. So we're going to go with, um... We're going to combine him with... N n uh, su Mufasa. So we're going to name him Nibfasa. And he's still called Nebby for short.
Nibfasa is going to be a part of my party, I think. But for now, I'm going to put him in a box. Sorry, Nibfasa. So, Kalia, no, Nebby. Nebby, you belong with Music Kev now. He'll be the one to raise you. Just like any parent should raise their child, he'll be your father now. I may not have been able to do anything for you, Nebby, but I'm glad I took you that day. So go with Music Kev and see the world. Have battles against strong Pokemon where you can use your full power. Meet other trainers who will make your heart dance with the thrill of it all. That's the kind of world that Music Kev can share with you. It's like, if you, if it's you, Music Kev, I know I can trust you to raise my Nebby well. Take good care of it. And I will go to my mother. I need to see for myself she'll be alright. Nice classic piano there. I like it. It's like a sitcom. Debbie, don't be always trying to get out of your Pokeball the way you always wriggled out of my bag. And don't forget you're strong now, so you have to be careful not to accidentally hurt anyone until you get used to your strength. And you can't go running off into some other world anytime just without telling anyone. Don't make music have worry. Okay, I'm really, I'm really going this time. Alola. All right, so. Ne ne Nebfasa fulfills two roles on my team. He would be my psychic type or my steel type. Um, I believe that makes him replaceable of someone else. Cripes, I hate this place. It's exhausting climbing all the way up here. At least you gave me a good show, though. Guess it was worth coming worth coming this far, and the profess did ask me and all. Look, once you completed all your island trials and get your done your grand trials, then you've got to do one last thing. The final trial. It's a ceremony, you see? You beat all four kahunas in a row. But things are a little different this year. Now they're getting a real Pokemon League here in Alola, too. So, boy, hope you can bother yourself to come along to the base of Mount U of Ula Ula's Island, Mount Lanikila. You remember the type of village, don't you? Where the folks were doing construction work? They'll be raiding for you there. Suppose I could take you along with me. You want to do that? Come now with me? No. We're going to do some exploring a little bit first. Not many kids make it all the way to the final trial, but there's a handful every year. You won't be able to go easy on this one. There are real battles, no holding back. Okay, so just to review... Um, the first kahuna was a fighting type. And the second kahuna, Olivia, was rock types. The third kahuna, um, I'm gonna go to a different island here real quick. Because there's some places on Mele Mele Island that are still unexplored. So we're gonna go ahead and explore those while we are, um, considering what we need to be ready for. So, um, just running them down one more time. Fighting type, rock type, dark type, ground type. Fighting, rock, ground, and dark. Water and psychic will be my best bet, so I don't even want to get rid of, um, get rid of my friend, uh, Solgaleo. And yes, I realize I'm moving around this guy right now, I need to move him into the, uh, graveyard. Okay, so. Machoke is actually pretty good. I'm going to keep him around. Let's see. If anything, I'd get rid of, um... I'd get rid of, uh, what's-his-face, um... Let's check out his summary. Full Metal Body means that he does not get his stats lowered um he has crazy hp as you can see serious attack he's naive um sunsteel is good cosmic space raises his defense crunch is solid and zen headbutt is good okay i do want to use him but he is overpowered so you know what we're gonna keep the current team I might use the Legendary later if I decide it's necessary. But before I decide exactly who I'm using, I'm going to 
first heal up, and then I'm going to do some exploring here, because I think there's two or three routes on this area that haven't been explored yet, and therefore that I can catch Pokemon at. Not to mention that I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't catch Hakamomo. Hakamo-o. Okay, so the first area is, um, according to my map, there's an area next to Route 10, I think. So I'm going to do a quick flight over to that area and see if I can't find the entrance. It's Route 3. Okay, so Route 3 where Seaward Cave is. I'm not sure why I wasn't able to get there before. It was probably a, um, like a strength or something that was, or not strength, but a Machoke thing that needed, or, excuse me again, Machamp thing that needed to be pushed out of the way. Um, but there is an area off to the side here. Did I just not walk over here? Oh, well, I also didn't come back here with Tauros, because I'm a dummy. Ooh, infestation. Okay, yeah, it was, uh... I need to ride Lapras into the water. Dude. I'm not fighting a Rattata. With Cena. Peace. Okay, so there's this way. I'm really not sure where I'm going. I just know that somewhere over here there needs to be a way to get to the sea. Okay, and there's also a Zygarde piece over here. I'm so bad at exploration. I'm sorry, guys. I feel like I should have done this a long time ago. Okay, Route 1. I do need to go down to get to the sea. Yeah. Guys, I don't want to fight wild Pokemon there, level 5. Though this is a nice little um, memory thing of Remembering what it was like to be a level low enough that a level 2 picky peck would have actually um, been a challenging battle. Because both my Pokemon were weak against flying types. I don't think I'm going the right way. Um, you know what, guys? I'm going to do a quick... Uh... Oh, Spinarak. Interesting. I didn't think that you could catch those here. Anyway, I'm going to do one of my jump cuts here and jump to the place where I'm right outside the place I need to be. So I'll see you in a bit. Hi, guys. Sorry, I found my way in, and then I took one step in the wrong direction, and I encountered Zubat. <sighs> this is a new area. It is the Seafoam... No. Um, I can't remember what it is. Oh, yeah, I wanted to show off his new... Um... Dragonium Z, so I will be doing that shortly. Um, especially with the next thing I counter. This is where? Hold on. So I had to go through the meadow, and there's this little hole here that I didn't see. I wonder if my sister did? But this is Seaward Cave. So the thing I encountered first was a Zubat. Ooh, you know what? To guarantee I don't encounter another Zubat, I think I'm going to just put up a Repel and try to get into the water. But I just want to check to make sure there's nothing around this barrier here that I... Okay, cool. So even my, if my sister did get here before me, she wouldn't have um, been able to get any further than this. That's good. I mean, not good per se. It's it's good that you're not seeing anything on my or seeing anything on hers that you're not gonna see on mine. Let's 
Did I just go in a circle? Yeah, I did. Okay, maybe she could have gotten further. Okay, so I go down this way. And there's that. Well, might as well do it since I'm here. Ooh, expert belt. I think that enhances the damage dealt by super effective attacks. Which is all I use, so it'd be super useful in any Pokemon I stick it on. I'm gonna hit another repel. Um, super potion. Never melt ice. I think I have one of those already. Okay, I've been that way. Is this an exit over here? Star piece, that's good for money. That's actually really good for money. One more repel. Okay, so this is all the seafloor cave. I'm gonna go over there to that fishing spot and actually fish this time. Because that guarantees that I don't catch another Zubat. I'm probably gonna really, honestly, probably gonna catch a Magikarp here, but just because I know what these games like to do to me. But, at least we can give it a shot. Something new, come on. That's not even a Pokemon. I would try to encounter a Pokemon um, naturally, but that Zubat's going to appear over top of water, in my experience. I'm going to keep fishing here, guys. Hope you tuned in for some interesting stuff, because this is going to be so interesting. I'm going to give it one more try. There we go. Something new. It's a magic carp. Well, at least you guys get to see something entertaining. This magic carp is going to get wrecked by the Z dra dragon move called Devastating Drake. All right, Cena, take it away. There is no such thing as overkill, guys. That Magikarp deserved what it got. Okay, jumping back into Tauros. See, I, as much as I like the um, the music playing whenever you're riding your animal, I do like the music in this cave, so it's kind of disappointing that I'm missing out on the music in the cave. For this reason. Okay, so I'm now at Kalele... 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 I'm at the bay. We're going to see what my first encounter is here. Something new. Jeez Louise. I've just about had it with these Magikarps. Okay, so um, I have one more Pokemon that I can encounter here before it. Before it's a lock-in that I don't catch anything. No, I don't want. I don't want to fish because it's just going to be another Magikarp. We all know it's just going to be another Magikarp. Dive ball. Huh. Now we're good. Big pearl over here. And there's probably going to be some other interesting stuff out here. Let's go out to this one. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Okay, I guess we're encountering a random one. Not one I fish for. Come on, something new. 
Tentacle. I already have one. He's named Kraken. Thanks for playing. Alright, so I don't get a new Pokemon on either one of these two routes. It's a shame, too, because I was hoping for one. If for no other reason but to, um... Just have more Pokemon on my team. Huh. I will take a TM Roar. It's good for Pokemon that don't want to get set up on. Oh, look, there's grass over here. Wonder what I could encounter in the grass. A Rattata. Yep, how did I know? Okay, so this one was a bust. But, there's still more to explore. Um, I have a little bit more time on this episode, not to mention a little bit more time on my power supply. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and jump over to the next place where it's likely that I can explore. And that would be Melee Melee C. Not 100% sure how I get there. There's two Melee Melee C sections. I'm going to try 10 Carat Hill and try to go from there. Um, I'm thinking that I might need to get at it from another angle, but we'll, we'll see here in a second. Huh. That's funny, that drops me off, like, right there. Oh, that's right. That's right, I need to put a repel on, because stupid wild Pokemon. Hi, Slowpoke. Bye, Slowpoke. Alright, turn it on the repel. And we're about to go out to sea. Corsola. So so. Or. Use a potion on it. Oh, wow. Ooh, a wide lens. That makes me, um, more likely to hit my target. It's effective on the right Pokemon. Okay, what, you're gonna... Yeah, I caught 50 of them. And we're gonna switch to Sharpedo here. We're on Melee Melee C. I feel like these trainers are going to be under-leveled compared to me. So there was a... Cor they said something about the Mariene, or whatever it's called, hiding in the rocks. So I think I want to actually do some... Ooh, Super Repel. I think I want to actually do some fishing here so that I can maybe run into a Mariene. Um, I should fight those trainers, but let's be honest, they're not going to do much to me because I could have reached them back whenever I first got Lapras. Ooh, Rock Slide. I think that move might be taught to um, Machoke. Okay, so it was just telling me that baby... um. Baby variants can be hatched from non-variants. Yeah, one more repel. I might switch to Lapras here in a second so I can fish. Just want to make sure that there's nothing else to be found over here on this side of the island. Over here. No, leave me alone. Oh yeah, okay, I'm going around the, uh, thing. Here's another part of the sea. Ooh, okay. There's a place to fish. 
hopefully, we catch something new. I said, hopefully we catch something new. This is going to be my second Pokemon of this area. Or my first Pokemon in this area. Sorry, I'm saving because... Blinky Blinky. And I don't want to do another jump cut in the same episode. Here we are. Big Pearl! So glad I fished my way to the Big Pearl. Okay, come on. Alright, guys. You know what? Next episode. I swear. I'm going to catch something on Melee Melee Sea. And then from there... From there, I'm going to go straight to um, the Pokemon League. So next episode, you'll find me catching Pokemon on Melee Melee Sea, and then um, me heading to the Pokemon League with my Pokemon. will all be at level 60 at that point, whichever ones I plan on using. Anyway, this has been Pokemon Sun, Blind Nuzlocke Challenge. I'll see you next time. Alola. It's Artistical. Lilligant and it's Petal Dance, man. Ouch. None of my Pokemon stood a chance. Half my friends are weak to grass. So I took a chance. I sent out Budweiser, because he was my highest level, and his defense is high. But he couldn't take it. I'm sorry, Budweiser, but you paved the way for Lilligant's defeat in the end. Because of you, I was able to give Skylar a potion so she could finish her off, finally. You sacrificed yourself for the good of the team, bud, and I'm proud of you. May you rest in peace. I give you now a proper hero's burial. I could never draw you as Mudbray. Hopefully I do you better honor here and now. Thank you, bud. You are probably the most heroic of all my friends I have or have lost.